na kusalimu katika jina la Yesu Bwana asifiwe ya kwamba ni wakati mwema ambao nashukuru Mungu ametuwezesha tukaweze kupatana tena katika mafunzo na Mungu atakubariki kwa hivyo kabla sijaendelea wacha tuamini napoenda kuomba maana maandiko inasema ya kwamba ukijenga nyumba pasipo Mungu kuijenga utakuwa umefanya kazi bure hata nami ninapohubiri mahali hapa katika mtandao huu nisipomhusisha Mungu nitakuwa ninafanya kazi bure. Kwa hivyo tuamini napenda kuomba baba katika jina la Yesu na kushukuru. Nasema wewe ni mkuu enembeneza. Na kabidhi mtazamaji wangu mikono ni mwako. Jehova ninapotoa ujumbe huu katika maisha yake. Jehova acha ujumbe huu kaweze kupata nafasi ukaweze kutukanya kuturekebisha na hata kuturejesha katika njia zako baba kuuza ulimi wangu jinsi ambavyo uliguza ulimi wa Yeremia ukatia ndani maneno ambayo yalikuwa nene jehova nisaidie nipe kibali katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na hata kuamini amen so this time our topic is about curse curse so we want to see and understand what is this that we know people all the people everywhere you listen people talking about a curse the old people talking about a curse so lahana tunataka tuone lahana ni nini so a curse is any negative word any negative spoken words into your life maneno yote ya kinyume ambayo yamenenwa juu ya maisha yako hiyo ni lahana so ya kwamba lahana ya kwamba ni yale maneno ambayo yamenenwa juu ya maisha yako na haya maneno ni ya kinyume tunaita nini lahana and a curse you know kama wewe unajua kuna lahana ambayo mtu anaweza kunena maneno juu ya maisha yako negative words kama haujamkosea hiyo haitakushika lakini kama umekosa kama uko na makosa hiyo laana itafanya nini itakushika that's why i normally tell people that you should be very careful ukijua ya kwamba wewe ndio umekosea mtu then run to that person make peace before he gives out the negative words before he speaks negative words lakini ukijua ya kwamba katika saidi yako uko na haki ya kwamba haujakosa then hata akinena maneno ya laana haitakupata that's why i want us to share this message na pia ya kwamba wewe ambao unanitazama ukipata nafasi ukiona ujumbe hii inakufana sana na iko sawa ni vyema kushare na mwenzako tell your friend so that we can all learn So we shall read the uh, the book of Proverbs Proverbs chapter 26 verse 2 verse 2 The Bible says curses cannot hurt you unless you deserve them they are like birds that fly by and never settle So as I said that a curse uh, a curse are the spoken uh, negative spoken words into your life So the Bible says that a curse cannot hurt you. Kukuhurt ni kukuimiza ama kukudhuru unless you deserve them. How do we say that somebody deserves a curse? If you have made a mistake. For example, that your parents speaks negative words into your life. Like how to handle it? How to fanikiwa? Huyu mtoto anajifanya wacha tuone those are curses lakini kwa mfano tuseme kwa mfano wewe uko mjini na katika mjini bado unangangana na maisha labda uko na jamii hata kulisha hii jamii unashindwa unashindwa utafanya nini but you are parent back at home wanadhani ya kwamba wewe mjini unabonda ra so they start speaking uh, negative words curses they start cursing you hiyo haitakudhuru why because haujafikia ile kiwango cha kuwasaidia hata we mwenyewe bado unangangana 
But hao back at home wanadhani ya kwamba huyu kijana ama huyu msichana ya kwamba ana bonda ra but hatusaidi. Haya another situation unapata ya kwamba eh, E, muta amekuonea wivu labda katika mafanikio umefungua biashara pale so unapata ya kwamba kuna wale ambao wanakuonea wivu anasema ya kwamba wacha tuone kama hii biashara itaendelea so if you know how to 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 play about it you can reverse those words na haita kudhuru ya kwamba kama hauna atia na mtu yoyote na huyu mtu ananena maneno kinyume na maisha yako hiyo haitafanya nini haitakudhuru lakini kwa mfano tuseme kwa mfano wewe uko na pesa wewe uko well being unakula vizuri na familia yako ili hali ya kwamba mzazi wako anateseka ya kwamba akinena neno la laana 100% litakushika hiyo laana itakudhuru so i want you my viewers to be very much careful. Nimekuambia ya kwamba laana haitakushika ila tu kama ya kwamba una deserve. Kama una deserve that curse itakushika. How do you deserve? How do we say that you deserve a curse when that kama mtu tuseme mtu ananungunika anasema umemkosea kitu fulani na kweli umekosa. It is better utafute nafasi enda uonge na ule mtu umuombe msamaha. That's why the Bible says and I'm reading from the book of Proverbs chapter 26 verse 2 that curses cannot hurt you unless you deserve them they are like birds that fly by and never settle so any word any negative word that was spoken into your life ya kwamba hayo maneno neno linasema ya kwamba ni kama eh, ndege so wana wana wanaka angani hayo maneno yanakaa angani inangoja ile siku ya kwamba utadeserve hayo maneno then inakuwa active into your life kwa hivyo inamaanisha ya kwamba pia tukae chini tupeleleze ni siku gani maneno yalinenwa kinyume na maisha yetu ni siku gani watu walisema hatutafaniki hatutafanikiwa mwingine anasema akisema labda unajifanya lakini ututaona mwingine akasema utaisha mwingine akasema utapata ajali so we must sit down and and think kama kuna siku ya kwamba maneno kama hayo yalinenwa juu ya maisha yetu ya kwamba Mungu atusaidie ili ya kwamba to reverse yale maneno we reverse those words tunaanza kuyapinga maana maandiko inasema chochote mnakataa hapa duniani hata juu mbinguni kimekataliwa so na chochote mnafungulisha hapa duniani hata juu mbinguni kimefungulishwa so kama kuna maneno yoyote ya laana ambayo yalinenwa juu ya maisha yako ni vyema ya kwamba kuanza kufanya mazoezi as you pray kama walisema utaisha wewe sema hautaisha katika jina la Yesu kama walisema utakufa sema mimi sitakufa nitaishi kutangaza neno la Bwana you can use your tank to reverse those words na hata you can use other bill sacrifice peleka kwa madhabahu so that you can reverse, uh, reverse the negative words that were spoken into your life by your parents your enemies your brothers and any other persons So please my viewers vile ambavyo tumejifunza na neno linasema ya kwamba kama wewe ni mtakatifu kama wewe unatembea vizuri katika njia za Bwana ya kwamba maneno ya laana isikutishe why because we can see through our father who uh, our father who is Ibrahim the lord when he called him and instructed him to migrate from his father's and uh, relatives place he told A God told Ibrahim that I'll bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. So inamaanisha kwamba mtu yoyote akinena maneno ya laana juu ya maisha yako. Ya kwamba kama ya kwamba you don't deserve those words, hayo maneno yana reverse kwake. So wewe usijali kama unakaa vizuri katika njia za Bwana umeokoka, unamjua Kristo na wewe unafanyia wenzako mema 
hata mtu akisema utaisha mwingine aseme utapata ajali mwingine aseme sijui mali yako ishe wewe usijali maana Mungu ako pamoja na wewe na ninaomba ya kwamba Mungu atusaidie ili ya kwamba tukaweze kukua wenye haki na Mungu atakubariki Baba katika jina la Yesu na kushukuru na sema ni asante Jehova tazama ile ujumbe ambao tumejifunza hii topic ambao kuhusu lahana Jehova tusaidie ili ya kwamba tukaweze kujua vile ambavyo tunaweza kaa na watu embeneza maneno yote ya lahana ambayo yamenenwa juu ya, ya, ya mtazamaji wangu Jehova na reverse maneno hayo na tangaza ya kwamba mtazamaji wangu ni mbarikiwa muinue mubariki katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na atakuamini amen amen